On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, the hidden layer above the background but below the props. Hi everyone, welcome again to the other, uh, the show where I tell you all about using software for the church. In this case it's ProPresenter 5, but it need not always be that. So if you have any questions or comments, or if there's software you use at your church that you'd like to know about, just by all means either leave a comment below the video if you're watching on YouTube or TrinityDigitalMedia.com, or hit me up on Twitter. Paul Allen Cliff, P A U L A L A N C L I F. You can drop me a line, Paul at TrinityDigitalMedia.com, or head over to TrinityDigitalMedia.com/contact. There you'll find all the information, including this and the 1-800 number 1877 Pod Echo, 1877-763-3246. So, let's say just for the sake of argument, that you have a, uh, a situation where you need, you need to replace something. Uh, you're, it's, you need to, let's say, put a picture over a moving graphic, or you need to put two videos on the screen at the same time, one on top of the other. There are a lot of different ways that you can do this, but one really cool way is to do this in ProPresenter 5 so you don't have to do re-editing, etc. I've talked about this already when I talked about uh, putting a moving lyric video with transparency over a background video, but there are other uses as well, which we're going to take a look at right now. So, let's head on over to ProPresenter 5. Here we are over on my desktop. This is ProPresenter 5, and you'll notice that I've got uh, worship up right now. And what you might not know is that this lyrics layer can actually be tweaked just a bit in a couple of very cool ways. So let's um, right click on this here. ProPresenter is going to respond to me. We'll see. Ah, here we go. And I'm going to click on edit slide. Now, what we can do is we can do a couple of really cool things. Now, in a previous video, I talked about adding another video on top of the background, uh, a video with transparency. So we'd click on this button right here to do just that. And it'll come up and we can navigate to the video. Uh, let's see here. So let's say that I wanted to put this video there. This is not a transparent video, by the way. It is a video with a lot of stuff in the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this. OK, so here we have it. And I can put that there. and. As I try and show this to you, you're going to see just it's going to chug along because I'm, I'm recording, I'm encoding, I'm doing all kinds of stuff that this is not going to like, but I'll show it to you anyway. So this might be, you can look over here and see it, this might be useful for a video lower third or something like that. So I'm just going to pause both of those and move over here just to the regular lyrics. 
and you'll see how I've got both of these. These are both on the Lyric layer. So let's right click and edit slide again. And uh, first I'm going to click over here, sorry, right here. You'll notice that I've got these two layers. I can change the order of these layers as well. So if I do that, let's actually click on this guy. Okay, let's put this here. So if I do that, you'll see that I have the lyrics over two background videos. So that, that's kind of interesting. I didn't actually show you this here. I keep forgetting that I'm not showing my entire screen because I'm doing this on a kind of crappy internet connection. So you'll see that I've got these two layers here. So this, this is the text lyric layer but it can support several layers in and of itself. So I can have the lyrics on top of the video, or if I move this up, you'll notice I've got this video on top of these lyrics. And that doesn't affect the background video, which is showing right here. So I've got three layers, and I haven't even messed with the props layer. So I think that that's a pretty cool feature here. Let me actually reverse this and get rid of this guy by clicking on it and pressing delete or backspace. Uh, delete is what it's labeled as on a Mac keyboard. So why would you want to do this? Let's say you're at a satellite campus and you've got a pre-recorded video of the sermon and you forgot to put in the lower third of the pastor. No problem. You can just add that on a blank slide here and then that's pretty easy to do. You can also, there's no reason why you couldn't do this and make a template. So make a template where all the each of the slides has a video underneath the text that's perfectly acceptable. Let's say that you're again playing back a pre-recorded video and the pastor goes, oh you know how you forgot to put up that full screen picture? Can you put that in? Well the video is ready to go. In fact it's at the satellite campus now and you just don't want to go through the trouble of adding in, re-editing it just to add in a single full screen. So let's say that this actually could probably be even a little bit clearer if I were to add a foreground video down here. Let's see here. Let's in, the, in this message notes, I will close out the editor here. And right now, that's set as a background. That, that can actually work. So let's actually click Edit Slide. Let's say that we're here. And we've got this running. This is a standard definition video. And if you remember, what I did was I had a version of it in the background. This is it in the foreground. So another thing that I can do is I can add an image here. So let's go to my downloads folder and this is something that I was working on earlier just for fun. So I will put that right there. And that is a Kentucky license plate for a TARDIS. If you're
about it. If not, you really ought to be because it's pretty cool. So let's, let me close this out and show you what happens when I do that. Okay, yeah, that should work. So when I do that, basically, I have video in the background, the picture in the foreground, and there we go. So it's pretty cool to do it that way. You'll notice that the problem with this auto advancing is I have this as a background video, not a foreground video. But I can absolutely have this on top. So that's something else cool that I can do is to do that. So in my live production, something that we do is, let me show you what we do for the online campus. So let me add in a a new item in the library. Yeah, up there. Okay, and let's just call this uh, OC for online campus has nothing to do with any shows you may have heard so I have that this is my online campus now I use ProPresenter as my character generator my still store my my media player, etc. This runs through a uh, Blackmagic Design Television Studio. So what we want is we want an opening graphic. Then after the opening graphic with music, we want to be able to have a um, to be able to keep the music playing but add in a still and then go back to the graphics. So let's go down to the bottom here. Um, yeah, here we go. And I'm, I'm in the foreground section down below here. Let's see if I can. Nope, okay. I'm going to add in a, a video. So let's add in, let's add in this guy once again, because this is kind of what I'm looking for. Okay. So I've got that, and I'm going to put that right here. Now, I'm going to put a different still right here. So let's right click, edit slide, and I want to add in a still. Let's say that I want to add in No, I know what I want. Let's go to desktop. Cover art and so let's say that I want to do this for tomorrow's show, which is the Eternity Changer show. I'm going to select that. And then I will go back to this. So 
watch over here and you'll see what happens when I start off with the foreground video, add a full screen on top of that, and then over here go back to the full screen video. And this is a very short one, it's 14 seconds, but imagine that instead of 14 seconds it was like five minutes. And I wanted to have the opening video of going and have the host talk, which in between playing this, I would on the switcher switch over to putting the host over top of this. And then I would click on this and go back to ProPresenter full screen. And then as he ties it up, I would click on this and again go back to ProPresenter full screen. So this is what that looks like. And this again is a how I would do it if I wanted to add a lower third underneath uh, the video or uh, what have you in a, in a campus that uh, had a pre-recorded video of the message that sort of thing. So I would start here and then go to that and then back. But that it's a little too fast. Um, let's see here. And I want this to have actually a transition. So let's, well, let me do it again. So that should have worked. I don't know why that. Oh, silly me, I should have used this as a background. So instead, let me do this as a background video. So I've got the background video then I go to this that keeps him up behind there and I can adjust this to cover it up completely if I wanted to and then back to the opening video so that's how you would do that that's a good way to just make it absolutely work for different circumstances where maybe a prop because you only have so many props and it's kind of convoluted to do that. Maybe your prop is either in use or it just doesn't make sense to do that. And it's just a good way to use ProPresenter to solve some of these production problems that you may run into. I hope you like the show and I hope that it helps you and your church. So please subscribe, like, comment, do all that fun stuff as you and your church are going out and changing eternity. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com.